Today I'm going to do an unboxing of the Skyhopper Pro bi-directional data link for commercial and industrial drones. Let's have a look what's inside. Okay. All right, first thing that you'll notice when you open the box, you have a quick start guide. The quick start guide walks you through installation of the ground unit and the aerial unit. You'll notice that this is the only manual that we do include in the box as um, Skyhopper likes to go as paperless as possible. Um, all other manuals can be found online at www.skyhopper.biz. Let's have another look here. On the first level of the box, you'll notice the actual units. We have two Skyhopper Pro units that appear identical. However, they have been pre-configured, so one of the units is a ground unit and one of the units is an aerial unit. You'll notice that the ground unit is marked with a G and, respectively, the aerial unit with an A. On the top level, we also have the antennas. So we have two 2DBI antennas that are typically for the aerial unit and two 5DBI antennas for the ground unit. We have a bracket mount. Now the bracket mount is uh, for the ground unit. It is made to fit a standard tripod. You'll also know that, note that the bracket mount is um, equipped with all of the necessary holes in order to um, properly install your unit. So you have holes for the antennas, to attach a GPS plate, um, even to attach Velcro straps or cable ties to secure the battery, and other um, attachments as well, such as to secure the unit itself. Let's take a look here. Now we have two packages for the cables. One package is for the aerial unit and one package is for the ground unit. In the aerial unit, you have a standard ethernet cable, a power cable, and a standard serial data cable. And for the ground unit, it comes with a few additional items. First thing you'll notice is you have um, a package of screws and a knob for the bracket mount to secure your unit to the mount and then in turn to secure the mount itself to the tripod. Also you have your standard ethernet cable, your standard serial data cable, two SMA to MMCX connectors for the antennas, and a power cable. We also offer as an accessory GPS antennas, a GPS plate, and also um, additional attachments to attach on the ground unit your um, standard serial data cable to a PC or laptop, and on the aerial unit to properly attach your um, aerial unit to the, to the Pixoc flight controller. Before we finish, I just want to walk through the connectors of the unit. Okay, as we have a closer look at the unit itself, you'll see on the top side, you have two RF connectors for your antennas and a GPS antenna connector. On the side, you'll see an ethernet port, and then you'll have a sticker that is, uh, serves as a warning to basically state that um, prior to powering up your unit, you have to make sure that you have connected your antennas. Um, once you've connected your antennas, then you can remove the sticker and you will notice that you'll have a power in connector, you'll have a um, RS-232 port, a micro USB port, and you'll also have um, your data LED lights, your status LED lights, and a multifunction button. Well, I hope that this unboxing served as a helpful tool. For all other information, please visit our website again at www.skyhopper.biz for instructional manuals, instructional videos, and all other general information. Thanks, guys.